Hello! Why so serious? Good question. Mm -hmm. It's one of those mood days, you know, whatever. Um, what is new with me? A lot has changed, I guess, in the past week. Um, had a, um, a breakup with a boyfriend, which kind of sucks. Um, but it's okay. Um, moving on. <laughs> uh, we'll see how everything goes with that. Um, what else has happened in a week? I have been working really hard on costumes because Detour is this weekend. Um, Anime Detour, it's in Minneapolis here, which will be pretty fun. Um, I'll be wearing the Repo costume that I made in the past, which um, is the henchwoman costume. It has the taller neck and the, um, the coat and some fishnets and boots and stuff. It's pretty cool. I wore it for Halloween um, two years ago, and I actually wore it for maybe an hour or so at Detour last year, but it's not a very recognizable... Uh, costume, which is kind of obnoxious, but okay, because it's fun. I mean, I know what it is, and if anybody knows Repo, they definitely know what it is. Um, otherwise, what are the things, uh, I think, oh, I've been working on the new Lara Croft costume, um, the game, anyway, that's coming out in 2012. Um, I don't have too much of the insider information, uh, which is totally fine, but I've been able to respect what's going on and understand what's going on and I've been pretty excited about it because of this girl or woman I suppose Megan um I know Megan Marie she's a really awesome costume costume maker cosplayer um she used to work at Game Informer and she now works at Crystal Dynamics as the community manager community manager I think that's communicate whatever anyway sorry Megan <laughs> um yeah, so she's working a lot with that and um I was able to ask her a few questions like should I have a hole in the pants here and in that type of thing. Um, but I've been making some tweaks. Uh, the first bandages I made had um, blood on them that I made out of caro syrup and food dye and it works really well but it's really sticky so I'm kinda learning as I go taking baby steps with my costuming thing. Um, my pride and joy otherwise at the moment is really 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 um, this cat's costume. Everybody's like why are you making a cat's costume? It's for the cat's musical. Um, Last spring, I was in The Sound of Music with um, a bunch of really, really fabulous people. Um, and I'm a, a senior in college this year, um, so that means I'm definitely not in high school anymore. And um, a bunch of those kids from The Sound of Music went on to be in um, the Cats musical uh, last summer. And I was so proud of them. It was so awesome to see them. I knew so many of the kids on the stage. Um, I knew... Uh, phone. <laughs> That would be copywritten. <laughs> um, I guess a lot of things I say is probably copywritten. Anyway, um, I knew kind of through other people the director of that program um, because I worked with his wife on um, In the Sound of Music and I was just really interested. I'd love to be in Cat someday if I could. I don't know if I can really move that well but I've been learning I can move a lot better than I thought I did since I've been in a musical theater class this semester. Um, one other thing I've learned from my musical theater class, as I go on all these tangents for you and gesticulate wildly, is, um, well, my toe still hurts from breaking it during Wizard of Oz last summer, but I got jazz shoes and that's exciting, that's really helpful. Um, let's see, uh, tangent, tangent, what was my tangent? Oh, I can, I can, I can dance okay. I mean, it takes me a while to get the steps down and it's, it's interesting, but it's really fun. Um, you learn a lot, you become more flexible, you start losing some weight. Um, I can't imagine what it would be like doing it every day. Um, I, don't, I don't know, it'd be fun, but I'd probably get my butt kicked. <laughs> um, but see, anyway, seeing seeing cats and wanting to be in it at some point in my life would be interesting. I don't know if that would happen because I'm not that great of a dancer. But um, I thought I'd I'd give it a, a look-see and see how that happened. I guess if I would have thought a little far ahead, I um, could have gotten my pants. Um, my friend Ashley, um, she's, I like to think of her as an artist. She says she's not, but um, she's awesome. She, um, she's helped me with my fang costume, too, in a sense. She gave me some um, suggestions or ideas on how to do the um, enclosures on the back of the tank top, or for lack of a better phrase, the top that fang wears, oh, um, uh, it was metal things that I just put around the outside. It works really well. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but she so graciously decided to say she'd help me with my cat's costume. So she was over last night and um, she was painting the, the legs. I don't, I could show you on my phone, I guess. I took some pictures, but um, it's not necessarily <laughs> that awesome. And I say a lot of stupid things in a video that I took. But um, I, it's so cool. When you see photos, I'm, I'm, ah. Uh, I'm just so happy with it. Um, this costume would be good. I need to go get some white face paint. Um, I thought I had some from the zombie pub crawl last, um, last fall, but 
uh, I guess I lost the cap and I thought at the time, even though it doesn't make sense now, that a plastic bag would keep it moist in there, but no, the white's totally dried out. So, like, I was planning on painting my entire face white and then putting some brown in here and the smudges across, like, um, uh, like, like a cat. Anyway, um, my other pride and joy part of the, um, cat's costume is this cat's wig that I made. Oh. Okay, <laughs> um, it took me 10 hours to make this guy. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, it's yarn, um, Lion's brand, um, I guess I can't remember the exact brand. It's got three strands in it that you have to pull apart. I found a tutorial online. It was really helpful. Um, so I have three colors, the brown, like the cream, and the, the black. Um, and you cut like 14 inch strings, uh, depending on how awesomely you cut. Sometimes they're a little longer, a little less. I guess it was maybe supposed to be just about 12 inches. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I guess it, I think it was 14. Otherwise, I'd have been like, oh, ruler. Yay. Um, anyway, uh, you cut those pieces. You... Um, take out two, well, the, the strand that goes and wraps around the outside, and then the um, two strands on the inside, and then you take two of the strands, tie them in a knot, pull the ends apart, tie those in a knot, so you have some longer strands and some shorter strands, and you start with, like, the ears on top here, and so those are my ears, and I've been trying to make it a little spikier, so it'll look like, I don't know, I guess a dirty alley cat or something, but the back is still really fluffy, and I couldn't decide if I like wanted to hairspray it like I did with this or try to use some of the hair goo that I had from when I was a, uh, had a pixie haircut obviously a very long time ago um, uh, and try to get it more spiky like I was up here but um, it's kind of messy and whenever you touch this fuzz comes out I mean really you can just fuzz <laughs> it, it's it's a messy thing but um, it was really awesome I couldn't have done it without um, help and support um, from some of my friends. Obviously, Ashley, who helped me paint, and my mom. My mom was really awesome. I was downstairs watching an anime, of all things. I mean, I, well, not that that's a bad thing, but I don't always do that. So I was watching um, Vampire Night, and she's, like, asking all these questions. It was 1 o'clock in the morning, and I kept burning myself with a hot glue gun as I was putting it onto the nylon. And she's like, oh, you're cutting more string? And I was like, yeah. Uh, she's like, I can cut it for you, you can keep gluing, and I was like, sweet, I'm all for that. If you didn't notice, I have clocks in my house. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> At least they're on time, right? It's four o'clock. Um, but yeah, so she came down and she helped me with that, we were up until about four in the morning finishing that. So, I guess the biggest things I have left to accomplish is the shirt and, um, getting all of this hair under my wig. <laughs> um... I need to bring bobby pins. That's something I need to bring this weekend. Anyway, um, I just blew my voice out, I guess, if you can hear the rasp. Um, singing some music. Um, one, because with changes in life and emotions and things, um, I, uh, um, there's an amount of, like, music that keeps you going, and there's an amount of music that, like, kind of detracts a little bit, and I kind of ran across a, an impasse yesterday in my musical theater class where I was supposed to sing, and I asked if I could sing an acapella song, which would be the Lothlorien song, because it's happy, and it's happy. <laughs> it was going to keep me in a happy place, and most of the sheet music that I have is just, um, it's kind of sad music. Like, I have Jekyll and Hyde, um, which is mostly sad, I guess, and I have, um, Chess the musical and it was someone else's story and she's talking about how somebody doesn't want to be with her anymore so I guess I didn't really want to want to sing those um, but it kind of defeats the purpose of the course and I understand that and it's really good to learn to sing with an accompanist um, so I couldn't sing a cappella and that kind of sucked but it was okay um, I'm making a really long video and it's gonna take either forever to upload or won't upload at all um, I'll upload some songs too um, you can see how crappy or uncrappy they sound uh, yeah, anyway, um, that's my update for now. Anime Detours this weekend. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that is. Um, it should be really fun. Um, yeah, so I hope everybody's doing well, and that's my vlog for the day. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>